In this example, we are going to subtract mixed numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rewrite it. I'd like to rewrite them above one another. So I'm going to take my 10 and 2 9s minus 2 and my 5 12s. Now the next thing we're going to check for is do we have common denominators right here? Well, common denominator means we have found a number that they both will go into. So let's do a little bit of thinking here. 12 is 4 times 3. 9 is 3 times 3. So what would their least common multiple be? Well, they both already have a 3 in common. The 12 has an extra 4. The 9 has an extra 3. If we multiply those together, 36 is our answer. And that's exactly what we're going to use. And you can check. And, you know, if worse comes to worse, you can always just do 9 times 12 to find any multiple is a good good rule of thumb if, if worse comes to worse. Okay, so we're going to use 36. So now let's focus over here. So think, what do I multiply 9 by to get 36? That would be 4. Do that on top and bottom. And on the bottom here, what do we multiply 12 by to get 36? That would be 3. So multiply that on top and bottom. And let's see what we get. Well, that's going to be 8, 36. And this, top, this one here is going to be 15, 36. Okay, so we've got our denominators, common denominators. The next thing we're going to check for is do we have uh, enough um, to subtract? Meaning, is this number bigger than that number? Well, it isn't. 8 is not bigger than 15. So here's an example where we have to borrow. So how do you do it? Well, just like anything, we're going to go to the whole number spot right here, and we're going to take one off. So we're going to borrow from the 10 and make it 9. Now, the one that we borrowed is going to be cut into 36. So all you do, whatever this denominator is, after getting common denominators, we're going to add that number. Okay, so 36 plus 8 is 44. Okay, so now let's check if we have everything. This number's bigger than this, this number. Denominators are common denominators. This is just a normal subtraction. Perfect, we're ready to go. Okay, so what do we get? Well, we do the subtraction, 44 minus 15. We're just gonna subtract like normal, and that's going to be 29. And that's 36. Remember, when you add or subtract fractions, you only add or subtract the top numbers, and then you keep the bottom. Okay. Next, you just subtract these numbers here. So 9 minus 2 is 7. Some things to think about for your final answer. If this fraction has a common factor that can be divided out in the top and also in the bottom, then um, you do have to reduce it. My fraction here is reduced, and how can I check? Well, 29 is what's called a prime number. It can't be broken down into anything but 1 times 29. 36, think of the things that go into 36. 2, 3, 6, um, 12, things like that, 9, 4. Um, those don't divide into 29, so that is our final answer. So I hope that helps you to learn how to subtract mixed numbers. If that was helpful to you, could you please like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks a lot for watching.